For many people, the Whitney Biennial it really represents what this museum is all about. This show is going to really plant our flag in this building in a way that we haven't even done yet. The spirit of this museum is about the spirit of making and the spirit of doing and creating. It was a museum founded by an artist. Putting the power in the hands of the artist is what Mrs. Whitney exemplified. The Whitney Biennial is the longest running survey of American art. One of the things that Biennial at large, and traditionally it's kind of been held to, is being that kind of gauge of a moment that responded to what is the art of the time. We don't know when we showcase an artist in the Biennial whether the work they make is going to be our favorite work ever or whether it's going to stand the test of time. That isn't what the Biennial is about. The Biennial really is about taking a snapshot of this moment. It's about artists trying to make something new. It's about saying this thing that maybe wasn't even thought that it could be art now counts as art. The idea was to give artists the opportunity to show work that had never been shown before, to test themselves in front of audiences and their peers. Looking back, I think it meant a kind of coming into the art community. It's a kind of big, exciting event that everybody pays attention to, an event that marks this, a moment in time in the art world. The most exciting thing about looking at a piece of work is thinking about the artists themselves, wonder what is going through their head. I have been in the Whitney Biennial three times. The first Whitney, I had two figures. For me, were my first figurative pieces. It was like about being thwarted, but it was certainly in a time period where there were enormous social dialogues happening for sort of control of the body. And to me, I wasn't the problem. You know, it was a problem of a kind of culture that was phobic about what it means to be in a body. There are moments when some of the political and social issues of the day rise more forcefully into art. In all museums in the world, they give you a tag. Tags also signify categories and groupings of people. So there's black people, there's white people, there's Mexicans. They group them by gender, by age. I'm Mexican-American, but I look very white, that I never wanted to be white. Because it's not about white or black, but it's about asking who we are. Something that I think art's able to do is articulate a sensation that you didn't necessarily have an image or name for yet. As a photographer, I work from the real world, but I feel that I am a kind of translator. I feel that I bring something back from the real world and do this little mixing, this little editing, bring it out again in a different form, hopefully more poetic, hopefully more enlightened. This was the first biennial in 20 years that was curated exactly in the run-up to the election. We found ourselves coming to this question again and again, what it's like making art right now and what it's like to be an artist. The Zeitgeist of the Vibe right now is heavy and frightening and dark. What everyone has in common. Maybe the point is Where does this go from here? All this mess out there, all this political mess filters in through an artist's body and comes out and gets kind of, I guess you could say, regurgitated in the form of a work of art. And sometimes it's overt and sometimes it's covert. Hopefully learn about the world around you in a different way. Art, I think particularly a show like the Biennial can be an opportunity to not take all the things that we take for granted and just kind of put them aside for a second to think anew about what we think we know.